Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial for today and our tutorial for today how to add points manually in MS Forms. So if you're a teacher like me or if you want to learn about how to add points manually in the MS Forms for students for giving them extra scores whatsoever or if it's, um, if it's a long response or a short response and you cannot give the correct answer directly in your Microsoft Forms and you're going to add the scores manually, I'm going to teach you the important and step-by-step uh, -step procedure. So again, I'm going to teach you two ways for today. First, if you share the Microsoft Forms as a link. And secondly, if you use micro Microsoft Teams and using the assignment. So first, let's discuss shared as a link. So let me just give you first the, the steps. So imagine like you're going, you shared the link to your students. So you open up your Microsoft Forms. And then when you have your Microsoft Forms, you're going to, to share the link. So to share the link, it's quite easy. So for example, you have this quiz and you're going to click share here. But before going to the share, um, imagine this is the quiz given to the students right now or a test or any assessment that you're giving to the students. Um, kindly just click the share. But before you're going to click the share, you're going to click in this three, in this ellipse or three, three dots, go to the setting. Make sure you're going to uh, read this option for quiz, show results automatically. So if you want uh, all students who's going to take the, the quiz assessment or test online to, to see their scores after they uh, take the, the test, you're going to turn it on. But the problem is that if there are short responses or long responses wherein they're going to type um, words and you cannot really put uh, points directly, automatically, um, or the, the Microsoft Forms will not uh, grade it automatically. You need to turn this off because it will be confusing to students. For example, they will get 30, uh, 35 out of 50. They will see 35 out of 50 in the end, but actually um, the Microsoft Forms did not actually check uh, 5 or 10 items because it's um, short or long response. So I, I suggest you're going to turn this off. So I'm going to turn this off so that students will not see it. Now remember, you can also click this one, only people in migration record name and one response per, per person and then you can put the start date whatsoever or you can leave it. Now you're going to click the share and you have three options here, send and collect responses. You have a share as a template and share to collaborate. So because you're sharing this as to your students, you're going to click the first one here. So send and collect responses, you're going to click copy. Copy this one, so this link is ready for you to paste. So you actually can paste it to an email. So you can open up your email. You can open up, you can send it. So um, share it as a link. You can share it, uh, you can paste it in the chat. You can send it uh, as an email or uh, paste it on Microsoft Teams. So you can open up Microsoft Teams if you have Microsoft Teams and you're going to your Teams uh, general and then post, you can uh, paste it as a new conversation like this, okay? So, again, I'm going to delete that, all right? So, you can send it as a chat, you can send it as an email, or send it, or paste it on the wall for the Microsoft Teams. Now, um, imagine that the students are done, okay? So, imagine the students are done um, taking the quiz or assessment. The question is, how are you going to add points manually in these MS Forms for, um, for students who did not, uh, I mean, for questions that you did not put an automatic grade? Okay, now, um, it's quite easy. You just go to your Microsoft Forms. Okay, so go to your Microsoft Forms. Go to, the, go to the quiz or assessment or the test that you shared. So imagine that the students are done and you have the responses. So you will see questions and responses. Okay, so the, here I have only five questions. I will go and click our responses. Now I will click review answers, okay? So I'm now I'm going to add manually scores to my students. So review answers. Now, for example, this student uh, got four out of five. Now one of them is wrong, for example. Now, for example, this is correct. I want to correct it because maybe there's only one mistake or maybe imagine this is a, um, this is a short response or long response, okay? So just imagine this is a long response or a short response or a fill in the blank and you want to put a grade for the student. So I can actually highlight this and then put one. I can click one and now the student got five out of five. So if a student got, for example, if you want to give them one half point, just type 0 
then the student will get 4.5. So for example, you want the student to get an extra mark, you can put two, so the computer will, it will show you extra credit, so the student will, six, will get six out of five. Very easy, actually. Now I'll go in back, put a zero. Now I'll go to the next student. For example, this is the next student, and he got uh, all correct. So for example, because he got all correct, and then imagine again, um, this is a short response. I can give him two, for example. I can give him one or zero. So this is how to add manually a score to a student. Now, um, so like imagine again, remember, these are uh, fill in the blanks only. But imagine if this is a short response or a long response, you can actually add scores to students basing on this one. So I'll repeat again, open, uh, open the questions in, in your Microsoft Forms and then uh, go to responses, click responses, and then you will go to review answers and you can now manually add scores, okay, like that, all right? You can add, uh, actually add five or 10 if you want, see? You can add scores like that. So that's how to manually add um, manually add scores or points in Microsoft team, uh, Microsoft Forms. Now, um, how about if you did it? How about if you did it? You shared it in Microsoft Teams assignment. So what am I talking about here? So if you know this, you should uh, click on Microsoft Teams. So how about in assignment? So you have assignments here at the top, or you have assignments here at the bottom. I mean at the side. So I'm going to use to click my general, go to assignments, go to your assignments. And for example, you share that. So here I'm going to, so imagine that you shared this. So to create this one, just go to create a quiz. And you're going to select from your Microsoft form. Some forms will be attached here. So for example, here I, I will select mental math. So, um, so imagine that this, the, the students are done taking the, the test. So I'm going to click here. So the one that I assigned. Now um, you will see turned in if the if the student if students turned in. You will see viewed if the student viewed the the test, but they did not turn it yet and not turn it, which is the student did not even see or um, uh, did the did the quiz or assignment or test. So click the turned in. Now you will see here the student again. Now this is how to, um, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it, this is how to add. You open up the assignment that you, that you shared. You, you click on turned in. And you can find the name of the student. Now I can actually manually add another point. So I can add one point, I can add two points. So imagine this is again a question for, question for um, long response or short response or uh, things or questions that you did not uh, add an automatic response in the Microsoft Teams when you were working on it because again short response and then long response they do not have um, complete or direct answer so the students can have their own opinion so you don't know how many points are you going to give them so you're going to read their answers now for example if this is the essay for example answer I'm going to give uh, one point to the student then it will be um, the scores will be updated okay so that's how to manually add scores when you shared it in the assignments in Microsoft Teams. So that's how to add manually scores in Microsoft Forms and then it will be um, updated for, your, for the scoring. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.